Right, so now let's have a look at the structure of a database in database management software. Before that, let's have a look at what we need to know at the moment. So right now, we know how to input data and we have to identify data types. Um, let's now look into everything we need to understand about explaining the structure of a given database. So, these are all the main features of a database that we need to know. Um, I'm going to start off by explaining the first three, and then we're going to access and see the other three in action. Okay, um, so let's first of all look at a table in a database. So what you're seeing right here is a table. These columns and rows make up a table um, where your data can be stored. We then need to know what a record and a field is. These columns that I'm highlighting in yellow, these are all known as fields okay you got the name field age field height field email field phone number field and address field these are all attributes for a uh, a given entity this one seems to be for a person now highlighting in the blue are the rows these are known as records okay records tell us about individual um items within our database so that's what a record is we know what a record is now we know what a field is so records are the rows and fields are the columns and together they make the tables let's head over into access now to look at primary keys foreign keys and relationships all right so now that we've answered all of that uh, we're going to fix the primary keys in our database. I believe most of them have already been done by default, but I'll show you them anyways. So if you go into the crimes table, uh, go into design view, uh, you can see the crime code is our primary key, which is what we want. The crime code is a unique value. Sometimes in the exam, you might get asked, why is this field the primary key? It's very simple. As I just said, it is the unique value, meaning for every single record in this table, the crime code is going to be different. Okay, we need that because have a look over here at these two fields I just highlighted. Okay, these two fields are both the same type of crime. Okay, now I'm sure different number of victims, maybe different date as well. Okay, different ID as well, different different hero too, but they're all the same crimes. For us to truly differentiate between them, it helps to have these two uh, unique codes. Because let's imagine they both had the same number of victims. They both cost the same amount of money. They both happen on the same day. They are both solved. Um, imagine it's the same Avenger um, solved the issue. And imagine it's the exact same villain that was behind this problem. Well, we have quite a big issue over here. So to differentiate between the two crimes, we would have a crime code to show which one is which crime okay hopefully that made some sense um so yeah we'll go over to design view and you can see it's already the primary key so that's fine we go to superheroes go to design view now the avengers id would be our primary key just because for the same reason you can tell when it says id that's probably the primary key in this case okay and also, this is the, the field where every single data item in this field is different. So therefore, we can go into Avengers ID, right-click it on the grey box, and select Primary Key. Okay. Yep. You can actually click it anywhere, by the way. You can do that. Okay, Primary Key, sorted. Uh, and then let's just move over to Super Villains ID. Okay. Um, design view and again that's already there but then ID is sorted all right let's close all of these tabs I have a rule that sometimes I'm bad at sticking to which is make sure you've only got one tab open at a time often when you've got more than one tab open and you want to try and make changes in one tab the changes will not happen and you'll get an error because the other tabs are open that can happen quite often and it's something you don't want to happen in an exam because it can become quite confusing and can waste a lot of your time. So as a rule, keep only one tab open when you're working. 
Okay. Right. Um, let's move on to the next part where we're going to look at relationships in a database. So we're going to database tools and we're going to relationships. Now I'm going to add all three tables here before I explain to you what a relationship is and what the purpose of relationships are. Okay, so here we've got our crimes table. Now here we've got our superiors table. And over here we've got our supervillains table. Now the idea is crimes are committed by supervillains and then solved by superheroes. Now we know that. Okay, we know that. But our database does not know that. To the database, these are just three separate tables that have nothing in common or no link between them. So we have to educate our database to know the link that crimes are committed by supervillains and superheroes solve these crimes. Okay, now the way we do that is by linking the primary keys to their foreign key. Okay, normally one table will carry all the foreign keys. Okay, so you can see Avenger ID is our primary key in superheroes and Avenger ID also appears in crimes. Okay, so by linking these two together, we are essentially telling the, uh, the database that the crimes can be solved by the Avengers. Okay, right, so uh, at the same time, um, we are going to do the same thing here with crimes and supervillains. Okay. So I'm going to link the villain ID to villain ID and then always click enforce referential integrity and click create. Okay. So this is showing that one supervillain can commit many crimes. Okay. One supervillain commits many crimes. And the same thing over here with superheroes, take Avenger ID primary key and link it to the Avenger ID foreign key. And always tick this box here and click create. And here it shows that one Avenger can solve many crimes. Okay. Um, and that is that. This is an area where errors can occur. One of the most common examples of errors is when you've got other tabs open. So please remember one tab open. Okay. Only. So it's one tab open when you're working. All right. Um, and that's that. Um, and the other issue that can also occur is a data type issue. So for example, it's quite common for people to have their ID listed as auto number in one field, but then that primary key, which is an auto number, over in the other table as a foreign ID, it's not going to be an auto number. It will be a different data type. And that can cause problems as the, the, um, the relationship cannot be created if the data types are different because when the data types are different, the software thinks immediately that these are two completely different data. So you can't link them together because the data is not the same. Okay. Do bear that in mind when it comes to creating relationships. You know, you've done it right when you see the one to many, one, one to many, um, relationship line appear between them. You know, you've definitely done it wrong when you don't see any symbols at all there. Okay, so that is relationships. All right, so now we know that a primary key is a unique identifier in a database, normally represented by ID, ID number, code. Um, a foreign key is a primary key that appears in another table. And a relationship is what allows us to connect or link our tables together so that access knows the data is related and we know that we relate them by linking the primary keys to their foreign keys now we can tick off the explain structure of a given database join me in the next video to have a look at how to uh, validate data in a database